enjoy the short film about Thomas Darcy McGee. Thomas Darcy McGee was born on April 13, 1825 in Carlingford, Ireland and grew up as a Roman Catholic. His parents were James McGee and Dorcas Catherine Morgan. When his mother had devastatingly died in 1833, his father re remarried in 1840 to his stepmother, Margaret Day. McGee went to a local hedge school in Wexford, Ireland, when he was eight until he was 17. When McGee left Ireland to go to America, he wrote many of his first poems on the Leo, which was a ship he had voyaged on to come to the United States. When he had just came to the United States, his first of many jobs was working as an assistant editor. McGee became very motivated to make sure that Americans didn't spread the Republican ideas to the rest of North America. Thomas Darcy McGee accomplished and contributed to many things. He wrote 10 books and hundreds of poems, gave countless speeches, and edited several newspapers. But his greatest achievement was him fighting for Confederation. McGee has four schools in his honor. There's Darcy McGee School, the Government Office Building, the Thomas Darcy McGee Building, and the Darcy McGee Pub. McGee also has a Thomas Darcy McGee Catholic School, Thomas Darcy McGee High School, and Western Quebec School Board. Thomas Darcy McGee was assassinated on April 7, 1868 in Ottawa. He was assassinated by Patrick J. Wellen because Wellen was said of being a Fenian. When McGee was opening the door to the boarding house he was staying at, he was shot by a person who was waiting for him from the inside of the room. Thomas Darcy McGee was so important that they made a state funeral for him. Thomas Darcy McGee was remembered and known for being a journalist, a poet, a Catholic representative, a politician, and as the father of confederation. There is a statue on Parliament Hill of McGee and two monuments of him at Tremont Bay and Carlingford, Ireland. His final resting place is in Notre Dame de Neige Cemetery in, in Montreal. Thomas Darcy McGee was inspirational because every time he spoke, his words were uplifting and motivational. McGee was also very brave to stand up to, and fight against the Fenians.